by the end of this video you are going to learn three types of discontinuity of a function and they are removable essential and jump discontinuity let's start with condition one using an example and, and we are going to consider removable hence we are going to see when a discontinuity function is called removable step number one put the given x equal to three into the function this means put x equal to three into the function directly if you do this the function will tend to infinity which is undefined to remove this discontinuity condition from this function step number two you take the limit of this function as x tends to three to achieve this express the numerator in difference of two squares in this expression the numerator is the same as this expressed in difference of two squares recap the law governing difference of two squares a squared minus b squared is equal a minus b in bracket a plus b in bracket this rule was applied to the numerator of this function next x minus 3 will cancel x minus 3 now you are left with only x plus 3 next instead of x you now put 3 and you now have 6 however initially we got undefined but we removed the point of discontinuity and we obtained an answer which is six in conclusion for condition one to remove a point of discontinuity it is called removable discontinuity which we saw in the example next let's consider condition two which is essential let's consider this example the upper part is known as left hand limit while the lower part is known as right hand limit to understand this let's take the limit of the upper part which is the left hand limit you can see we obtained infinity which is undefined and hence the upper part which is the left hand limit does not exist next let's consider the lower part which is the right hand limit here the right hand limit exists which is zero zero is an answer which can be found on the number line hence when one part of the function does not exist and the other exists this is known as essential discontinuity because one does not exist and the other exists though we got zero here which is a number this can be anything it can be two it can be five it can be minus seven as long as it exists on the number line it exists next let's consider jump discontinuity let's use an example let's determine the discontinuity of this function the upper limit is known as left hand limit while the bottom limit is known as right hand limit and since it tends the limit tends to four this is four and from this given condition x can approach 4 but will not be equal to 4 and from this condition x will approach 4 and can be equal to 4 and for the continuity of this function 
the left hand limit must be equal to the right hand limit. Next, let's consider the limit of the upper part and our answer is 8, which exists. In step 2, and taking the limit of the right hand side, we got 24, which is an answer and does exist. However, this is an answer and this also is an answer but both are not equal this is called jump discontinuity at the end of this video you have learned with examples types of discontinuity of a function you can check out other videos and other topics in pre-calculus and to locate other videos you can follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video